Let me repeat the piece of the sentence, please. You, Lord, thank you. I can't breathe now. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Oh, thank you. I can't breathe now. I can't breathe no more now. To God be the glory. Shall we put our hands together for Christ Jesus? As we welcome our mother to her knees today. Yes, we have been listening to testimony that proved that the age of miracle has not passed. And right now we want to listen to another life-changing testimony. Emmanuel, thank you, Jesus. My name is Alec Donate. I'm 50 years old. I came from Australia and originally from Southern Sudan. Yes. Actually, problem brought me here. Um, I was sick for a long time. I have lung disease for a long time. I can't breathe. I can't do anything. Like even talking. I can't talk. Like, I uh, got my chest tight, all my body's aching, my muscles. So I use the machine. I use mercilizer and oxygen. I've been using all the time at the house. Even when I'm walking, I have to use the machine, oxygen. Because always my breathing go down. So that one I've been booking for operation for, for uh, twice. So when I came here, I've been booked for lung transfer. So in some years ago, my neighbors introduced me. Okay, now, before you tell us how you receive your healing, can you tell us once again for how many years? For 13 years. I've been sick for 13 years, good 13 years. For 30 years? Yes. And you said you've been using the breathing machine to breathe because you couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe, yes. And how many times you have been booked for transplant? I've been booked twice. I've been booked before. And now, again, I'm in waiting list right now. So you were booked for long transplant three times? Yeah. Can you tell us how the problem, you know, affected your life before you came to the synagogue church? Actually, it affected my life because the country I live in, I'm, in, I'm a disabled person. I can't do anything. Australia just give me for money to survive for disabled. And all the work at home, I should do uh, like a mother. All my children, my daughter, been doing everything for me. Even when I'm very, very sick, they have to birth me. So every work in the house, all my children, they want to help me. I yes, can't do anything. We've before. listened to our mother. She explained that she, uh, she was diagnosed uh, with a lung disease for 30 years. And um, she used breathing machine all along for all our activities because she couldn't breathe and she had to depend on her children and medically she has been confirmed disabled because she couldn't do anything for 30 years and these were the problems that she was facing for a very long time as she said that uh, before she finally found someone who directed her to the synagogue church of all nations mom can you tell us how did you now come to the synagogue church and what happened last sunday when the man of god prayed for you 
Yeah, so I've been following like for three years watching on YouTube. So I built my face there. I saw the man was healing for like having big machine. I said, oh, this man now is healing. Maybe when I go there, maybe God is going to help me to heal me. So why I came here, the time I came here, I was lucky to be booking for, um, uh, for a freight line. So when Prophet came and touched me, oh, so I got my deliver, I got my healing that time. I can't breathe well, but just immediately I breathe. Now I'm fine. I can breathe now. I can walk. I'm wearing my high heels now. I can't do anything. Last time, just sit at home all the time, breathing with machine. So I'm grateful. So thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Thank you for my washing away my tears. For years I've been crying like a single mom with the kid. Doing nothing is not good. But now I'm grateful. I'm healed. Shall we put our hands together for our Lord Jesus, the great healer? Yes, our mommy says that she's so grateful to God. For 30 years, she has been in pain, suffering. But for the first time after the man of God prayed for her last Sunday, she no longer used a breathing machine. And today she's standing to testify that Jesus Christ is the healer and never a sickness. He cannot heal. Once again, let us put our hands together for her Lord Jesus. Do you still use your machine? Once again, we want to hear you. I can't use the machine right now. No papa, no medicine. I have a lot of medicine there. No papa, no machine. I breathe normally. The hair of heaven, I breathe. You said I before you couldn't talk, but now you've been standing talking. Before, I can't talk properly. I can't. <laughs> now, yes, I'm talk properly. I Hallelujah. I'm shocking now. Can you walk in the midst of people to the glory of God? To do those things you could not do before? Yes, we can see our mommy testifying and showing the evidence that Jesus Christ healed and he still heals all manner of sickness. To his power, nothing is impossible. Yes, we thank God for your life. We would quickly like to listen to your daughter. We want to listen to our own side of story. Sister, we believe today you are very, very happy seeing your mom doing things by herself. Can you start by telling us your name and how the problem affected her in the past? Uh, my name is Winnie. Um, when we went to Australia, that's when we found out that she was really, really sick. And she couldn't do anything for herself, you know. And being a teenager, taking care of your mom was really, really hard. And looking after young siblings as well. And it was only us that we had and our mom, but doing things for her, she couldn't even take a bath by herself. We had to help her take a bath, dress her, take her to the hospitals. Everything that she could do, we had to do it for her. But today, seeing your mom healed completely, you don't need to bath her, you don't need to help her to carry her bags, to carry anything. How does that make you feel? Very, very grateful. I'm really, really happy that she can do this. Sorry. <laughs> things for herself now. Shall we put our hands together for Christ Jesus? Yes, that is the tears of joy. Our sister is so much grateful because not only a mommy that received healing, but she also received healing as well. Seeing someone who has been handicapped for 30 years free, we thank God for your life. And now with what God Almighty has done to, your life, uh, to the life of your mother, what advice do you want to give to those who have similar trouble? And those who are waiting to receive their healing as well. You know, I never believed in God healing and a lot of stuff until I came here. Until I came here, I believe Jesus is alive. And Jesus can heal you. So what I can tell other people out there, if you have any problem, run to Jesus. If my mom didn't bring me with her, I would have never seen this happening. And I'm grateful for that. Shall we put our hands together for her Lord Jesus? Yes, our sister is saying all this because of the agony she has faced in the past. She said she never believed that Jesus can heal. She never believed that God exists. 
because of the pain and suffering in the life of our mother. But seeing what happened in the life of our mother last week, that God used the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to heal her mom, she believed that Jesus, he is the healer. And for God to heal her mother, she believed that there is no one that God cannot heal. If you believe that God can do that in your own life too, put your hands together for her Lord Jesus. Yes, we thank God. Mama, we can see some pictures there on the board. Can you just quickly explain to us what you have there? Actually, this one is the um, oxygen I've been using because they put me in a therapy. So when I use the thing, I can't breathe. So I have to put the oxygen because all the muscles, they get tight. So they have to help me. And this one is the oxygen too. I've been using because I can't breathe. When I use that one, I can breathe, I can clear the hair, but I can't do anything just to help me. Now that you have received your healing, what word of advice do you want to give to those who are waiting to receive their own healing? Okay, my advice is, is actually Jesus is alive. To build your face, when you have something, build your face first. And you trust in Jesus, Jesus can heal you. Because I put my face in Jesus all this time. I said, Jesus is alive, he's going to heal me. I'm not going to die to leave my children alone. So you guys over there, even my community, they can't believe. When I go there later, they're going to believe. Even some people, they are sick. They're going to come to synagogue here. Build your face and trust in Jesus. Jesus is alive here. Yes, we want to advise you that now that God Almighty has completely healed you and give you another chance to live, don't forget that the reason for your healing is for the salvation of your soul. Continue to make his word the standard for your life. We pray that God Almighty will give you the grace to maintain this new life in Jesus' name. Les spectateurs, nous voulons tout juste entendre l'extraordinaire témoignage de cette femme démontrant que rien n'est impossible à Dieu. Donc, le problème qui a emmené cette femme à la synagogue église de toutes les nations fait une difficulté à respirer et à parler, utilisant une machine respiratoire. Elle dit qu'elle avait des douleurs musculaires et des douleurs au niveau de la poitrine. Elle fut programmée pour une opération trois fois afin de faire une transplantation des poumons. Elle dit que voilà, elle devait toujours se dépendre de sa machine respiratoire afin de vivre et de recevoir de l'oxygène constamment. Elle devait toujours dépendre de ses enfants pour faire les moindres petites choses et même pour se doucher, elle avait besoin de l'assistance. Elle dit qu'elle est venue à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où le prophète Tibidjocha pria pour elle dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit qu'immédiatement après la prière, elle fut libérée, elle respire normalement. Elle dit que dès que ce moment, elle n'utilise plus sa machine respiratoire. Dès qu'elle a reçu sa délivrance la semaine dernière, elle n'a jamais, jamais utilisé sa machine respiratoire. Elle dit que elle a souffert pendant 30 longues années, et mais Jésus-Christ l'a restaurée, maintenant elle rend gloire à Dieu, et dit que voilà, euh, elle peut faire toutes les choses qu'elle ne pouvait faire auparavant, marcher, porter son sac, s'exercer sans être à bout de souffle, et même sa fille en témoin, elle dit que voilà, sa mère a souffert pendant longtemps, et maintenant elle se réjouit, quand sa mère respire normalement, elle est restaurée par la gloire de Dieu, les spectateurs rendent gloire à Dieu pour ce merveilleux témoignage. Acabamos de escuchar este increíble testimonio de esta mujer que nos comenta que visitó la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de una enfermedad en los pulmones. Ella nos comentaba de que tenía que utilizar un nebulizador y que los doctores le habían dado una fecha de operación para trasplantar los pulmones tres veces en los últimos años. Ella nos comenta de que esta enfermedad le había causado mucha dificultad de poder realizar sus actividades cotidianas, de que su hija le tenía que ayudar hacer todo, inclusive para bañarse, ella necesitaba la asistencia de su hija, pero nos comenta de que la semana pasada en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, ella recibió el toque divino del profeta Tibi Joshua y desde entonces ella recibió su sanidad instantánea. Le damos la gloria a Jesucristo por esta sanidad. Continuamos. <tose> 